morning. How's it going? It's like 6.45ish, which is a nice little lane for me. Um, sorry about the lighting. The lighting is like awful. Um, oh, I forgot I can't turn the light back on. <laughs> um, but yeah, good morning. I'm just getting ready for a two-day trip to Lake Titicaca. Um, yeah, so I'm currently in Puno and I'm getting picked up at 7.45 slash 8 from my hostel. This is my hostel room. There's obviously no one in here. Because I'm talking to you, this is my bunk. <laughs> Top bunk whatever. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm getting picked up at 7.45 slash 8. Um, we're going to go to the lake and see the things. Oh, you can't see anything now. Um, we should be fun. I think um, we've kind of been told since booking it that you don't really need to do a two day trip. Like one day is enough. Um, this involves, so yeah, I'm staying with a host family overnight. Um, so like, yeah, host family on the island, which is interesting. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. So I shall bring you along to that. Um, yeah, that's, that's the plan. That's what we're doing. I woke up at like 4 a.m. I got spot. Um, I woke up at 4 a.m. because I'm still kind of on jungle time, I think. Um, so that's fun. That's fine. It's okay. I don't mind. Yeah, like I said, this is like a nice late wake up for me. We love it. We love it. Um, maybe I should go into the bathroom. I don't really know what to wear because so on the website it says um, during winter season which ended in September wear like warm clothes and then if from September like from November to whatever wear rain clothes I don't really know what rain clothes are. I mean I've got my rain coat um, it was quite warm here yesterday in the sun, but when you're not in the sun, it wasn't. <laughs> so, I'm going for my flared neck and flare things, and then the skins. Basically, I'm wearing my airport outfit. <laughs> um, so, hopefully, that's appropriate. And then I've got like, um, I'm packing my cargoes in case it's like really warm. Um, we can shove those on just with like this tank top and I've got like a long sleeve zip up gym top from Bowen T I think um, in case it's really cold my essentials hoodie and what else my raincoat my North Face raincoat um, yeah I'm also going to bring my like cashmere Zara jumper thing just in case it's really cold because people are talking it gets really cold there but I think it's okay I think it's fine so yeah that's what we're doing today I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna finish getting ready then I need to check out um, but I'm keeping my big rucksack here because you can't take big rucksacks on their tiny little boats so yeah and then so I stay there tonight come back tomorrow at like 3 p.m 5 p.m and I'm staying another night here and then on the 2nd of November I get the 5 30 a.m bus to Puno 
no, I'm in Puno, to Bolivia, to La Paz. Um, this is like my birthday week, by the way, guys. Did I say that already? That's why I did the bougie train. Birthday week. Um, it's a lie, I would have done the train anyway. It makes me feel better spending more money because it's my birthday. Also, so I think I mentioned on the train that um, my cousin Alice had found a nice bougie hotel for me in La Paz to have a spa day on my birthday. Um, so that has been booked. I am having a spa day on my birthday and I'm also staying in the hotel. I've booked myself a night in the hotel on my birthday because I deserve it. Um, it's a really nice hotel. I'm excited to show you. Um, so I'm getting a volcanic stone massage and a deep cleanse face facial because my face needs help needs help um that's really exciting really exciting really happy really excited can't wait um and the power is actually really cool so i'm excited for that um from the third to the morning of the fifth um i'm staying in the wild rover in the Paz, which is like the party hostel. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I'll see you later. Goodbye. the towel with me and it's not got a shower I think I'm a bit scared for the host family's house they call it rustic <laughs> um so I don't think I'll shower I think I'll just shower when I get back tomorrow night which is fine um okay so I'm bringing this You know, it's such a luxury to be able to pack with no one else in the room so you can buy it. Okay, so already in here is my cargoes, um, a short sleeve t-shirt, a long sleeve t-shirt, um, spare pants and socks, my raincoat, Oreos and crisps because they said to bring snacks. Um, period pants because I'm due on soon, a couple of tampons, makeup, um, this also includes my toothpaste and toothbrush, just brush my teeth now, then in this little bag is my deodorant, makeup remover, hairbrush, stuff like that, um, it really fit in the other bit, um, and then this is going to go in there. Ah, oh, pajamas. Pajamas. Right now, I've got my long trouser things. I was contemplating just sleeping in my outfit, but I'll bring pajamas just in case. Just in case, because they're only really small. And then just like a baggy t shirt. Ah, 
water. That might fit in. Might not. Oh yeah, it's I'll carry that one. And then this is like where I keep my phone, my battery pack, my purse, my Kindle, you, um, and I wear that as that, so it's like easy access and I don't like having it on my bag. Um, so I think that's everything. I, that should probably fit in there as well, to be fair. Um, then, just for this thing. My bag's broken. This, like the zip has completely come away, which is ironic because I wanted it badly to detach, and now it has, and I want it to reattach. But it's fine, we're making it work. really useful on the buses so I do keep it. I've got them bend it by now but I do keep it. Cool. And we've got my top and jump that I'm wearing today. Titicaca por foto satelital. 
Por favor, pasa, pasa adelante, cuida tu cabeza. Toma el asiento para acá. Cuida tu cabeza. Siéntense, siéntense. Cuida tu cabeza, amigo, cuidado, por favor. Un poquito, pues, adelante, por favor. A ver, amigo. Sí. Ahí está. Habla. Yeah. Yeah, it's better than some hostels I've stayed in. <laughs> lunch with the host family lady and I'm with a couple one is an Irish and one is from Miami which is good they're really nice which I'm glad at because some people don't speak English so it was nice to have a Sorry, thank you. <laughs> I still just cannot believe it's a lake. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. And what's the altitude? 4,100? 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, just look at the colors. hostels than this. I mean, I'm thrown a bit by the fact the door doesn't shut, but if someone wanted to open it, they could open it anyway, so I just might be sleeping in a jumper, that's all. But that's okay. I did bring a jumper for that. Um, yeah, so dinner, and then there's a party. Also, it's Halloween. Happy Halloween. Um, so there's a party, and they've said that they'll dress us up <laughs> in like their traditional clothes, not Halloween, like, um, yeah, we'll be dressed up in their traditional clothes and then we'll go to a party and have a drink. <laughs> I don't know what a party is to them, <laughs> um, but it should be fun. And then sleep, which I'm excited for already. <laughs> it's a sad life we lead. And then, also this is the national flower, by the way. Um, party bed and then tomorrow morning 6.30 wake up 6.45 breakfast back to the boat an hour and a half on the boat to the other little island that name escapes me 
actually quite cold if you couldn't tell by look at my face. My face looks cold. Anyway, I'm done talking to you now. I'm gonna read my book and go and have dinner. So Fiesta. <laughs> <laughs> Warm. Sí, sí, no. Oh no. <laughs> Y me he visto la ropa. Sí, cinco minutos. Gracias. Sí. anything like that in my life. It was fun though. Coca-Cola or Coca-Cola stole it, I don't know.
to um, this guy from Finland um, on a walk and one of the conversations we were having is about like guessing people's ages and how it's really hard to guess women's age because he was like you can just like transform yourselves it's just really reminded me of how we transform ourselves <laughs> I didn't look good with the makeup on but now <laughs> humbling I've been humbled but today it's been fun it's been interesting I'm getting so lucky with the people that I put with doing things like this way like I know it's with a tour but like it's still really weird like no one speaks English <laughs> I really need to learn some Spanish it stresses me out and then because I'm stressed out that I don't know Spanish I'm not paying attention to learn it um, I have the utmost respect for anyone who can speak multiple languages like it blows my mind it literally blows my mind like So if you can speak more than one language, you're a superhero to me, to be honest. Um, but I do want to learn Spanish and like not just like for the trip, just in general, like being able to speak another language is like the biggest flex in the world. It's the biggest flex. Um, but I'm like too scared to try. <laughs> At this point, like sometimes I know the words to say and I'm just too scared to say them, so I say them in English. It's not good. English people are really lazy. Maybe the door not being able to shut is a bit of an issue. No, it's fine, look. It's okay. Okay, wish me luck. Good night. <laughs> to be fair, if anything happens, it'll be great content. I'm going to keep you right next to me.
I'm gonna do my makeup and go back to you. The lamb was born yesterday. The boy lamb. Oh my gosh. Yesterday. Hello. Morning. How's it going? Yeah, it's good. I slept quick well. Yeah. One sun. I never knew altitude was a thing before South America. It's a thing. <laughs> we walked like 10 minutes. It's no joke. And like, it doesn't matter how fit you are, you just don't know how your body's gonna react to the altitude. Like, I thought I was fit and healthy. I thought I could do all these hikes. So hard. So so hard. Whew. But we're doing it anyway. This is when it's a good time to stop and take photos, have a break. my bre breath of hack is quick <laughs> then I lose it again immediately which is fun it's fine I'm wondering what gourmet coffee means <laughs> this is the square 